Welcome! I'm Daria Pino of Summer Tomato, and today I'm making a quick video for you about cholesterol because I can tell from the questions that I get from readers that there's still quite a bit of confusion about what cholesterol is, what it does, and why it's important. And since this stuff can get a little bit technical, a little bit confusing, I thought it'd be better to make a video and just explain it to you directly rather than try to write all this stuff down and probably put half of you to sleep. So let's start by talking about what cholesterol is. Cholesterol is just a molecule. Just like water is a molecule, sugar is a molecule. The only difference is cholesterol is a fat molecule that happens to be present only in animals. So um, all animal fat has cholesterol, but um, plants do not have cholesterol at all. So the first point I want to make is um, that there's a big distinction between dietary cholesterol, that is uh, the cholesterol that's in the food that you eat, um, versus blood cholesterol. And that's what you get measured when you go to the doctor and they take some blood and they measure your cholesterol readings. Um, the cholesterol that's in uh, food is the free cholesterol molecule. But cholesterol is a fat, like I said, like an oil, and your blood is a lot like water. And you probably know that water and oil don't mix. So you don't have free cholesterol roaming around in your blood. Um, instead, cholesterol is transported in your blood in uh, little particles called lipoproteins. And um, there, so that, that's the first important distinction that we need to make is that when you're talking about dietary cholesterol, you're talking about the cholesterol molecule. But when you're talking about blood cholesterol, we're talking actually about lipoproteins that have cholesterol in them. So this is a very big and important difference. Um, and the reason is because there's actually a lot of different kinds of lipoproteins that contain cholesterol in your blood, and they do different things. So um, you've probably heard about LDL cholesterol, which is the low-density lipoprotein cholesterol that is um, generally a, and weakly associated with heart disease. Um, and then there is uh, HDL cholesterol, the high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, and this is the good or protective cholesterol. Um, and there's a bunch of other kinds, and they're important as well. But these are the ones we generally talk about, so these are the ones I'm going to focus on. Um, I'll start by saying that HDL cholesterol, the protective cholesterol, is um, actually really, really good, and it's probably the best marker for heart disease we have. We, you want your HDL cholesterol to be as high as possible, at least, at least 40 milligrams per deciliter. Um, and um, the reason is because the function of this particular lipoprotein is to take cholesterol um, so out of your blood and out of the bad parts of your body and just excrete them from the body. So this is a this is a, um, a protective kind of cholesterol. It's very good for you. LDL cholesterol um, is more associated with the um, you know heart disease and and can be associated with heart attacks and strokes. And um, while I don't think it's the most important thing, I do think it's something that you should probably keep an eye on. It's it's something that is is a marker. We'll call it a marker for um, for heart disease. So the next question is, how does our dietary cholesterol and our diet, our diet in general impact our blood cholesterol? Um, so I'll start by saying that dietary cholesterol has virtually no impact on blood cholesterol. So um, let me repeat that so that it sinks in. Dietary cholesterol has virtually no impact on your blood cholesterol. Um, what does that mean? It means you can eat egg yolks with no problem. You can eat shrimp and seafood with no problem. The amount of cholesterol in your food is not important. Um, and this is hard for a lot of people to, to really believe and accept, but it's true. The data is pretty clear. Um, however, your diet does impact your cholesterol, and it's really important what you eat. Um, so let's start by talking about HDL cholesterol, because like I said, this is probably the most important um, thing that impacts your risk of heart disease. And you want it as high as possible. So to get your HDL cholesterol high, you want to focus on health, eating healthy fats. Um, you don't want to have a low-fat diet, which is what used to be recommended for heart disease. That's a bad idea. Low-fat diets lower your LDL cholesterol, or lower your HDL cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol, but you do not want your HDL cholesterol lowered. To make it higher, you want to focus on eating healthy fats, such as um, the kind of fats that are found in um, plants. And so you have your monounsaturated fats, your polyunsaturated fats, and also fish, uh, your omega-3 fatty acids. So you want to eat foods like um, olive oil, uh, avocados, nuts, uh, flax, um, seeds, and fish. Those are the, those are the foods that are going to have the most uh, helpful impact on your HDL cholesterol and get it as high as possible with having a minimal impact on your LDL cholesterol. Um, LDL cholesterol um, is impacted by a couple things as well. And like I said, you want to keep your LDL cholesterol 
in a healthy range. You don't want to let that get too high. Um, so what impacts LDL cholesterol is um, uh, saturated fat. So saturated fat definitely will raise your LDL cholesterol. And so, and like I said, it's not the most important thing, but you want to keep an eye on your saturated fat levels. Also, um, you can eat intact uh, whole grains will actually have a good, good impact on your LDL cholesterol as well. Um, and importantly, uh, sugar and refined grains have a negative impact on both of these things. So you want to um, so sugar will rate, lower your HDL cholesterol, which is bad, and it'll raise your LDL cholesterol, which is bad. So you want to avoid sugar, you want to avoid processed grains, and also uh, processed oils. Processed oils, usually soy oil, um, are uh, what create trans fat. And um, so this is anything that's been hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated oils create trans fat, which have a horrible, horrible impact on your um, blood cholesterol. So you never, ever, ever want to eat trans fat. There's no reason to. It only comes in junk food. Don't eat trans fat. Um, so that's it. So just to recap, to have the best um, impact on your, on your cholesterol from your diet, you want to have is um, you want to make your HDL cholesterol as high as possible by eating uh, plant fats such as olive oil and nuts and fish fish oil, fish, and um, have moderate amounts of saturated fat. You want to keep that on the moderate level. You don't want to eat too high saturated fat. Intact whole grains are great, and um, eliminate processed uh, grains, sugars, and oils completely. So that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll definitely answer them. And um, thanks for tuning in.